Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be talking about lots of makeup brushes. I'm going to try to do my top 10 must-have makeup brushes in my life and then throw in a few randoms because I feel like I use a lot more than 10 makeup brushes, but I don't want this to be like a 30 minute video, so I'm just going to try to talk about the necessity of makeup brushes that I use because a lot of you want to know more about makeup brushes, and I'm not somebody that usually talks about makeup brushes, like I don't list them in the bottom bar or anything like that because I don't want you to feel like you need to use the exact same makeup brushes that I'm using because in all actuality you don't. You can use whatever your little heart desires, um, but makeup brushes do make makeup application a lot easier if you are working with the right tools. I just want to share with you guys why I use them and why I love them. When I first started doing my makeup, I think I had like two makeup brushes to my name. So you don't need all those makeup brushes back there in your life. And really quickly, why I've been gone for the past, I don't know, six days or something like that. My allergies have been so out of control. This is the first day that I've put makeup on since my last video because my eyes have been so squinty and so itchy and so crazy. I know that a lot of you guys um, will always ask why are you squinting or what's going on with your eyes, but I have extremely, extremely itchy, dry eyes pretty much all the time. So if you wonder why I squint, one, they're itchy, two, my allergies are ridiculous, and three, there's massively bright light sitting in front of me, in case you were wondering. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I'm going to talk about my first, my top 10 brushes that I feel like I just cannot, cannot live without. So the first brush I want to mention to you is from Makeup Geek, and this is their foundation stippling brush. I absolutely love, 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 love this brush. If I'm not putting my foundation on with a beauty blender, chances are I'm putting on my foundation with this brush. These are synthetic brush hairs, and they are super short and densely packed, so you're going to be able to pick up any of your foundation super, super easy. And the flat head is going to allow you to give yourself a super even, flawless, full coverage look because you can go ahead and just pack this onto your face. It is a stippling brush, but it's not a traditional stippling brush in the sense when I think of stippling brush, I think of something more like this where it's not so dense and it's more like, you know, just flimsy in there. But this guy is super dense and dense means it's just like packed and you know, you, it's not, it's not like this. <laughs> Again, because it is flat, it's going to give you a super nice, even full coverage look. So that's the reason why I like to use this brush because if you don't know, I am either an all on makeup kind of girl or no makeup kind of girl so I do like a full coverage foundation I feel like this is a must-have I don't know what I would do without him and um, there are other flat top brushes like this one um, but this just happens to be my most favorite of all. So for my next one, this is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40, and I believe these are natural hairs. And this is my contouring brush. This is the one that I live for. This is the one that I usually use. And when I first started contouring, I thought that I needed like a little brush and like this super slanted brush and like this little dome brush. And it turns out that this is actually my favorite brush to contour with. It just fits perfectly um, in the hollows of your cheek and it makes it it's super easy to just get it like super precise and blend it all out so I absolutely cannot live without like this angled contour brush and when I first started doing makeup I was like ew I hate this brush I don't even want to use it I need something better but this is actually the best one that I've ever found and like I said I do believe this is natural hair and what's good about natural hair brushes versus synthetic is these are going to pick up powder a lot easier oh hold on my face so it's coming off these are gonna pick up powder a lot easier and it's just going to give you like a seamless blend to your face and I think that these are goat hair but don't quote me on any of this. Next is this brush from Sonia Kashuk, and this is Kashuk, 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 Kashuk. Uh, this is the number 29 brush. I use this for my blush brush, and I want to say that this is natural hair too, because it kind of feels like it. Um, but this is perfection. I used to use like this really small domed brush for my blush and it was good because I kind of like you just want to get it on these apples of your cheeks so you don't want to use anything humongous but this guy fits so, like perfect right on the apples of my cheeks and it's so soft and it makes blending so easy that is not a hair from the brush I think that was one of my hairs this is a recent purchase for me um, but I got it at Target so I, I only have a couple Sonia Kashuk brushes and this is has to be like my most favorite it's just so soft and perfect and 
The next one is a large stippling brush, and this one is from Sigma as well, and this is a duo fiber brush, so this has natural and synthetic hairs in it, and I mainly like this brush mainly for just blending out anything on my face, like my contour, my blush, and my highlight. I like to use this brush to blend it all together, but that isn't the only purpose of this brush. You can totally apply your foundation with this. This is what I used to always apply my foundation with when I first started like really getting into makeup. I had, I think it was actually a Sonia Patrick one. It was like a white handle and I used to always apply my foundation with that. This will give you a nice like, um, people say it'll give you like an airbrushed finish, but to me, now that I know more about makeup, it doesn't really give me like an airbrushed look. It gives me a more of a natural look because you're just going to stipple the foundation onto your face and then you're going to blend it out like this. And for me now, I don't really like to put my foundation on in this kind of motion because I feel like it's not giving me the look that I want because it's kind of just blending it all over my face. That's why I prefer a flat top brush like this because I'm actually pushing the foundation into my skin instead of swiping it all over the place kind of like a uh, stippling brush would do. So that's why I prefer to use it for just blending out my contour, highlight, and blush all together so it's like perfection. Um, but you can use this for foundation if you want more of a natural look. So I do like to use this when I want to blend down my neck because it's easy to just stipple this on and then get like a good coverage when the face and neck situation aren't matching up too good. And, and just know, even though I'm telling you what I kind of use these brushes for, you can use makeup brushes however and in whatever way that you want. So if it says it's a blush brush, it doesn't mean you have to use it as a blush brush. If it says it's a foundation brush, you don't have to use it as a foundation brush. There really are no rules. I'm just kind of giving you guys the rundown on, like I said, my favorite brushes. The Sigma E25 brush, which is basically a MAC 217 brush. I actually think this one is brand new. I don't even know if I've ever used this one because it looks, it looks so perfect. All my other ones are like, ah! Um, but this is mainly like your essential brush. You need this in your life. I believe these are natural hair. I believe. And this guy is just perfection for blending eyeshadow. So um, you can use this for all over your lid. You can use this for the crease. You can use this for under your eye, for like a super smoky bottom under eye. I just absolutely love, love, love this brush. I have so many of these brushes just because I don't like <laughs> to wash my brushes like you know, all the time, so I want to have like backups, and then it just gets out of hand. So I would say try to keep this down to a minimum so that you don't have an overflow of makeup brushes to wash when you have to wash them. It's a little wide and the bristles are pretty firm, but you're going to get a super blended look with this brush. So I absolutely love this. This is a must, must have in your whatever, in whatever you're doing, your makeup kit, your brush situation. Whatever you're doing. So next is the tapered blending brush from Sigma. This is the E35. And this one I mainly use just for my crease. Or I also like to use this for um, blending out under eye concealer. Because it's got this nice dome shape. Which is perfect for under your eye and in your crease. So this is going to give you a super nice blended eye look. And again I use it all the time for underneath my eyes to blend out concealer. And I use it after I'm like completely done. Like sometimes I will use it to blend out um, liquid concealer but mainly I use it when my face is fully set like this and I'll see like a little bit of creasage underneath my eye I just use this brush to go in and it just blends it out perfectly so I usually keep one of these in my purse with me for situations when I have a full face on because I'm not somebody that likes to bring makeup with me and touch up my face most of the time I don't bring anything with me when I'm going somewhere so I usually always just have one of these in because it's pretty much the only thing you need because I'm just most of the time worried about under eye creasing <laughs> so this guy is a must for me and again this is the E25 again this is the E35 so the next one is going to be super similar to the E35, but this is the E40, and they're both tapered blending brushes. The only difference is the hairs. So this one is going to give you a more defined blended crease, and this one is going to just give you a super blended crease color. So I like this when you don't want any kind of harsh lines or anything like that. The one that I mainly use for my crease is the black one, just because I feel like um, it just gets everything a lot smoother, and I mainly use this guy for underneath my eyes. I rarely use this guy on occasion in my eye, but I do use this brush every single day. That's why, well, any day that I have makeup on because um, of the under eye situation. But this one is just going to give you a more diffused, blended look. So that's why I like to use this guy mainly for my crease. And when I use my brushes and I'm doing, I'm blending or anything, I like to hold them pretty much at the end so they're like, you know, 
you have um, a super light touch when I'm in here so I don't really like to get all up in the brush area. I like to keep it pretty loose and keep my hand back here when I'm doing any kind of blending. My next one is a MAC. I think this is a 242 brush, but it's kind of all rubbed off. This is just a flat shader brush, and this is what I like to use to apply anything to my lids because I can really pack the color on. This is a synthetic brush, so it's great for any liquids or if you're using kind of a cream base shadow and you want to put that on your lid, this is the brush that you want to use for that. It it just helps me keep everything nice and precise on my lid. Um, so that's why I just really like to use this little guy to pack color onto my lid. And then lastly of my must-haves is this flat definer from Sigma and this is the E15 and I really like this guy because you can see how flat he is and this is what I like to apply my eyeshadow to my lower lash line because I feel like it just helps keep everything in its place. Sometimes I get a little out of control if I'm using something like a pencil brush. I'll just put way too much on and I'm just like blending there forever and this really helps me get up close and personal to my lash line and just I think it's the best thing ever of putting on um, um, eyeshadow to your lower lash line. Don't get me wrong, I love a pencil brush, but I like a pencil brush more for uh, adding color to the outer corner or getting up in the crease and maybe blending out the lower lash line, but I just find that when I use a pencil brush for my eyeshadow, it's crazy. It's just too much. So this is what works perfect for me. So those were like my must-have brushes that I just need in my life. I cannot live without. So I just want to mention a few more. The first one is from Sephora and this is the Molding Foundation Brush. I used this like two days ago so if it looks a little dingy it's because it's got makeup in it. But I really really like this brush. I bought this on a whim like randomly at Sephora. I don't I don't know why but it looked interesting to me. I was like molding foundation. Hmm. So I like to use this when I'm using like a mousse foundation foundation or anything like that that's a little bit thicker. It just makes it like mold and melt into your face when uses. And again, I use it the same way. Um, I push the makeup into my face instead of rubbing the makeup onto my face. I like him a lot because I rarely, I, I don't use him a lot. So when I do use him, I'm like, oh my god, why am I not using you more often? But most of the time I do put my foundation on with a beauty blender. Should we talk about the Beauty Blender for a second? This one is dingy and dirty because I just put my makeup on with it and I haven't washed him yet, but the Beauty Blender is an amazing tool to apply your foundation and your concealer with. Any kind of liquid or cream based product this is amazing for. This is in its wet stage, so he is still a little damp because I did just use him. Mm -mm. Again, you want to use this when it's wet. I do wash this every time before I do my makeup. And I just dot the makeup all over my face and then pounce this little guy up and down my face. And it gives you the most smooth, beautiful foundation application of life. I love this guy. He's amazing. And it really cuts down your makeup time because you can put your makeup on so fast. Especially if you've got like the speed pounce hand. It's like you're done in no time. I use the rounded, bigger side for all over my foundation. And then the smaller, pointy side to get underneath these eyes. But if you watch my videos, I'm sure you've seen this a million times. Let's talk about this NARS Ida brush because this was a hot commodity for a hot minute. It was like the brush that nobody could get. And I don't even use this brush anymore. I was one of those people that was like on the hunt for it. I was like, I must have this brush. And it's cool um, to contour with in the beginning. I'm like, yeah, this is so fun. Like, oh, great. And then I just got over it, and this contour brush just took its spot. I just think this brush is so much better than this brush. And that's, again, that's just my personal preference on brushes, but I just don't think that this guy is worth all the hype. So it is a flat like this, and you have these nice packed in bristles and it, it, it does make it easy if you're like beginning and contouring because it just night it gives you like this nice line but sometimes I feel like I couldn't get the line to blend out as much as I wanted it to without taking away my contour but again I just don't think it was worth the hype that it got on the tube it's an okay brush I don't it's it's all right Another great contour brush that I love is this one from Real Techniques, and this is just a small kind of domed brush, so it's going to fit nice in your hollows of your cheeks. Um, these guys are relatively inexpensive, and I love the hairs on it. I want to say that it's synthetic, but I'll have all that information listed in the bottom bar because most of the time when I'm filming for you guys, I forget to say things, so always check the bottom bar to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I just want to mention this guy. I just want to mention this guy really quick. This is probably the first makeup brush that I've ever owned and I want to say that I got it from probably a Walmart or a Target or something like that and you guys always ask what brush this is and I have no clue. It never had a name on it or anything like that but this brush has been 
riding with me since I was like 16 years old or something like that and I always use it to apply my under eye highlight and my inner corner highlight because I, I don't know no other brush puts it on like this guy does and I go and I look in Targets and Walmarts and I try to find anything that's similar to this and they're just nowhere and the quality of the brush is so good this brush has been with me for over 10 years and it's been washed thousands of times probably and I've never lost a hair it's never come undone and it's just my favorite brush of life so I keep this guy with me. I was going to put him in my pocket, but there's a button on my pocket, so we're not putting him in the pocket. And I think that's it. I think that's it for all the brushes that I mainly use. I mean, of course, I use powder brushes now and again, and I'm sorry that this is the largest powder brush of life, but it's just what I had laying in front of me. Um, and I think that's it. Um, like I said, use makeup brushes however you want, whatever you feel works for you. That's going to be the best bet. So again, you don't need to go out and buy like a million trillion brushes. You just need a few that you know work for you and work good for you. So I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. I hope everything that I said made sense. Again, check the bottom bar for any information that I might have left out. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. I don't have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.